Yes has strengthened quite a bit over the day. It's a Category 1 cyclone at the current moment at 19.7 degrees north, 88.4 degrees east. It has not developed an eye yet and is already expected to weaken over time. Currently as of 8.30 p.m. in Kotak, 8.30 p.m. in Kolkata, we have winds of 85 miles per hour, a pre central pressure of 964 millibars, it's moving north northwest at 10 miles per hour, and we have a CDPS stage rating of 4. Looking further into the CDPS rating for West Bengal tonight, we have wind speeds close to significant, still between moderate and significant, storm size threat between moderate and significant, rainfall potential is significant to major, but still on the significant side, and overall threat to land is significant. A stage 4 means that extensive damage is possible in the area of Western Bengal. Looking at the wind fields for Yas, we have 180 miles to the northeast, 165 miles to the southeast, 135 miles to the southwest, and 150 miles to the northwest. And as we get into the distances in miles, we have it 126 miles from Kansai, 166 miles from Kolkata, 183 miles from Katak, 191 miles from Kulna, and 271 miles from the capital Dhaka in Bangladesh. Looking at the wind estimates from every single agency, we have it at 85 miles per hour, IMD at 80 miles per hour, EET and JTWC agree at 70 miles per hour, which is still tropical storm strength, but we think that they're gonna update it very, very soon. And here's the latest JTWC cone. As you can see, landfall is gonna occur very, very soon, probably in the next few hours or days, and it will dissipate immediately as it moves inland. And due to the short distance, it's probably not going to strengthen at all up until landfall. In the latest season for temperatures, it is very warm along the coast, although it won't really help as much for Yaz because it's already okay, interacting with land, it's already very very close to landfall, which is why we don't expect it to strengthen anymore and it's already weakening at this point. And here we have the multi-model diagnostic comparison from RAM. As you can see, already weakening at this point as I've mentioned before, it's already interacting with land and it's about to landfall in the next few hours. And deep layer shear, it is weakening, but it is of course super close to land, so there's, it's not really going to help the storm at all. In the latest track from every other agency, they are pretty consistent with a landfall right n near Kotak and moving inland, dissipating afterwards. In the latest infrared imagery, really just offshore by around 75 miles. But it doesn't look as impressive as we think. There is a lot of rotation, yet there's no eye to be seen as it is uh, covered up by all the convection. Remember to subscribe for the latest updates on our 413 YouTube channel, as well as check out all the other regional channels of 413. And stay tuned for the latest updates.